Do you want to get in shape and actually stay in shape for years and years and years? As someone who's been professionally in shape on TV for well over a decade now, and run multiple hundred mile races in the meantime, let me tell you how I do it in three pretty straightforward steps that you might not expect. First, pick something you actually like. I cannot stress this enough, which is why it's point number one. No matter what reason you have for getting in shape, whether it's fitting into a pair of jeans or playing with the grandkids or just feeling better or general overall health, even if those reasons are great, if you don't like what you actually do to achieve those goals, you're not going to do it. Consistency is the key to success in almost everything in life, and that includes fitness. And besides, why wouldn't you want to fill your life with things you actually enjoy? So take a moment to reflect and think about what you like. Maybe you love the outdoors, so choose hiking, or in my case, ultra marathons, which is a bit of a few steps beyond hiking. Maybe you love the beach, so go surfing or swimming. Or maybe you don't actually like the water at the beach, play volleyball. And also maybe you just love picking up heavy objects, just go to the gym and lift some heavy weights. Also, think about what motivates you as a person. Maybe you're energized when you're around friends. So join a club sport, like say your local run club, or soccer, volleyball, any of those where you can look forward to meeting up with people as an added bonus to your workout. Or maybe you think people kind of suck. So do some solo activities like running. You can do that with a group or by yourself or weightlifting. You can do that by yourself as well. So pick something you really enjoy and you're likely to stick with it. Which brings me to point number two. After you've picked something you like to do, make it as convenient as possible. Even if it's something you like, if it's not convenient, you're just not gonna do it as much as you should. Set up your life to make it really easy to do the things you love. So maybe you like shooting some hoops at the local basketball court. Don't put your basketball behind 14 boxes where every time you have to go outside to shoot basketball, you think, oh no, I have to move these 14 boxes out of the way. Keep your equipment and your activities close and convenient. So for me, running shoes and running clothes, but right by the door, so I don't have to go searching for them every time. And also, say you're picking a gym. Don't pick one all the way on the other side of town. Even if you just love rock climbing, if it takes 45 minutes to get to the climbing gym every time, you're gonna start dreading it instead of enjoying and looking forward to it. So now that you've picked something you liked and you've set up your life so it's really easy and convenient to do, the last thing is sprinkling a little magic sauce on the top, which is set some goals. We as humans love to achieve goals, whether that's really, really big goals or even just tiny little goals that we set for ourselves throughout the week. So incorporate some goals into whatever activity you choose, whether that's a total weekly mileage or just simply showing up every day. So not only do you get to look forward to the activity that you enjoy, you also get to look forward to the sense of achievement that you have by setting goals along the way. So to summarize, find something you really love, make it as easy as possible to do, and sprinkle in goals to make it fun along the way. Those are the most important things. So don't stress about copying an exact little workout routine that you found online or having this crazy diet that you saw some celebrity do. Consistency and fun are the keys to any sustained effort. So if you see on the cover of some fitness magazine that you've got to wake up at 4 a.m. every day, go hard, train six hours, do this very specific workout and eat really expensive food, I'm here to tell you don't let that stop you from thinking that you can't get in shape. It's really about getting started and just keeping the train going. If you really want to get bogged down in the minutia of things because it's fun and exciting for you, by all means, go nuts. But don't make it overly complicated, and the most important thing is just get started and make it easy on yourself. So pick something that you find really fun and enjoy.